Hi there, I am Laura J. Swan. I'm a women's transformational coach and a leadership mentor. And thank you so much for joining me. I'm gonna to talk today a part two on think like a queen. So last week I spoke about how to think like a queen, right? This is an archetypal energy that is rising in women. It's an energy of stepping into your confidence and your grace and self-love and expecting that we are treated that way and that we really actually embody this energy of love and confidence for ourselves. That is the queen energy. It's magnetic, it's radiant, and it's something we have to practice because a lot of things in our culture teach us to think otherwise. Many of us were not raised to believe that we are confident and worthy just as we are. We think we need beauty products or we need all sorts of things to make us whole and complete. And a queen, the archetypal energy of the queen is the energy of I am enough, I am worthy, my needs are important. So last video I talked about the importance of getting clear on what your needs are so that you feel full, so that you feel radiant. It's important to actually look at your life and make an assessment of what do I really need in order to feel healthy, in order to feel good. and. Be bold enough to make that assessment and to believe that you deserve to feel good. You deserve to not be running on fumes all the time. So this is what I talked about last week. So here's the thing. Once we get clear on our needs, we have to also have the confidence to ask for it. We have to have the confidence. We have to have the courage. All right, we have to have the courage to then ask for our needs to be met. This is through having what I like to call queen conversations. So in my courses, my Reclaim Your Power course, we move through a whole series of different archetypes and the queen is one of them. We teach women how to really have these hard conversations and to step into our worthiness, step into our confidence, believing that we deserve to have what we desire and also having the skills and tools on how to ask for them. This is a queen conversation. So what I want to tell you in this video is that you are worthy of asking for your needs to be met. This is a belief system that so many of us are afraid of. Do I really deserve to have my needs met? Do I really deserve to ask for what I need? And here's the, one of the biggest concerns. I'm afraid I'm going to be too much. Okay, I'm afraid if I speak my truth, ask for what I need, uh, express that maybe this or that isn't working for me, doesn't feel right, that it's going to be too much. It's going to be inconvenient for others. And you know what? I'm going to tell you the truth. Sometimes it is inconvenient, but it doesn't mean that you're any less worthy of expressing it. Sometimes being in your queen is going to make other people uncomfortable, but it's coming from your truth. It's coming from your self-love, and ultimately that is best for all involved, no matter what. You speaking your truth and asking for what you need is going to create greater sense of peace, health, well-being in your body, mind, and spirit. And that ultimately is best for all involved. It is best. Others may not like it. They may not like for you to speak your truth and it might ruffle some feathers and create some discomfort, but that's a part of this queen archetypal energy is that we have to actually be willing to sit with some discomfort on the other side of speaking our truth. Maybe it's received with so much gratitude and joy and people are just elated to serve us and support us and that's awesome. Sometimes, yes, that is true. Sometimes it's met with resistance. Sometimes it's met with pushback, but we have to be willing to hold that too in order to really be in our queen and be in our truth. So my invitation for you this week is what's a courageous conversation, a queen's conversation that you need to have right? It's probably a hard conversation. It might make you feel uncomfortable or it might make you feel nervous, but I want to give you the permission, the courage, and the confidence that you deserve to feel clear. You deserve to speak your truth. You are worthy of having your needs met. And so many times that starts with a conversation. It starts with words. It starts with speaking and actually being willing to say the hard thing. And on the other side of that, regardless of what the pushback or experience is, it's out of you, right? You have spoken your truth. Now, I do want to say speaking your truth with love, with kindness, right? Not just to be a jerk, not just to, not just to give pushback, but because it's your truth, when it comes from self-love, that's a particular vibration and energy. And that, whether people are able to receive it fully or not, 
there's something in that that makes it pure and beautiful. And it is coming from a place of self-love and you wanting to take care of yourself so that you can be at your fullest and best. And ultimately, you are going to be the best for the world when you have taken the best care of yourself. So this so often starts with conversations, speaking our truth, assertive communication. There's so many ways to call, but what I like to say is have a queen's conversation this week. Step into your truth and ask for your needs to be met. I encourage you to really embody your queen in this way because you deserve to feel radiant. You deserve to feel rested. You deserve to feel happy. You deserve to feel in your queen. Thank you so much and I'll see you next week. Thank you.